Apple's iPad lineup has always been about evolution, about taking a familiar product and pushing it just enough so that it feels fresh, futuristic, and practical all at once. Over the years, the iPad has transitioned from being a simple companion device to a tool that, at for many, could replace a laptop entirely. And if we look back at recent memory, one of the biggest milestones was the M4 iPad Pro. That device was thin, almost unbelievably light, and it introduced the stunning tandem old display, which immediately changed the way people thought about tablet screens. For the first time, the iPad wasn't just a nice to have it, looked and felt like a next generation device. With the redesigned Magic Keyboard that came alongside it, Apple blurred the line between tablet and laptop, and for a lot of people, the iPad Pro did in fact become their primary computer. But now, Apple is ready to take things even further. The stage is set for the M5 iPad Pro, and this time, Apple isn't just bringing out another routine upgrade. This device is being described as a statement piece, a way for Apple to say loud and clear that the iPad Pro isn't just here to stay, it's the future of portable computing. One of the most interesting shifts with the M5 iPad Pro isn't even in the hardware itself, but in how Apple is positioning the product in the past, iPads often felt like afterthoughts, slipped into events that were mainly focused on the iPhone or the Mac. This time, though Apple is reportedly planning to give the M5 iPad Pro its own spotlight, that's significant. It means Apple wants the iPad to stand shoulder to shoulder with its most important products. Not as a supporting act, but as the main showcase. And that makes sense when you consider what this generation represents. Apple isn't just selling a tablet, they're selling the future of their silicon chips, their AI ambitions, and their design leadership. The lineup itself reflects this streamlined, confident approach. Instead of confusing tiers or limited features on smaller models, Apple is expected to offer just two versions, an 11-inch and a 13-inch. Both will use the exact same M5 processor. Both will share the same design language and both will have the same future-ready technologies. It's a move toward consistency and simplicity. Whichever size you choose, you're guaranteed the same professional-level experience. Let's move to design, because Apple has always been known for making products that feel as good as they perform. The M4 iPad Pro pushed thinness to its limits, almost to the point where people wondered if Apple could or should go any thinner. With the M5, however, Apple isn't chasing thinness for its own sake. Instead, the focus is on refinement and durability. Reports suggest that the chassis will be built using a stronger aluminum alloy, and perhaps even a titanium blend similar to what we saw with the iPhone